playing the 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 first couple of singles off the album on our show we've been getting absolutely great feedback and we love the album as well so congratulations oh that's awesome that's really great to hear thank you very much mate. Jeez, that's great so tell us a little bit about how this album has come together because you guys have described this album not only as your heaviest album but also your most personal so tell us a little bit about how the album's come about and what you guys wanted to achieve with this album uh, yeah, well, when we um, when we first started writing for it, uh, probably about eighteen months ago, we sort of we all got together and we just sort of said, look, you know, we're at that time um, as being a, a band, um, you know, that we, we should definitely we need to do an album. Like we've, we've got all this material, and you know, let's do it properly. And um, we just kind of went from there, really, and and we sort of changed the writing process to make it more of a collaborative uh, venture between myself and Gordo, our drummer, and Ian, our um, guitarist. So they sort of came up with the ideas and then we all kind of got together with these musical ideas and concepts and and vocal melodies and we went, you know, let's build these songs together. And we just basically cut out all the red tape and all the bullshit and just went, let's make it really natural and let it just grow organically. And then before we knew it, we had, you know, we actually had 14 or 15 songs, but we kind of cut it down to 13 for the album. Yeah, we just kept it very much ourselves and and who we are as people, and um, yeah, we're really proud of it. What were some of the themes that you guys found were being bounced around when you first started to to work on the music itself? Uh, in terms of themes, I, it's a funny one because I actually wrote the um, the lyrics for pretty much every song um, well before we actually had the music. So um, it was strange because it was the first for me to sort of kind of go, you know, this is, this is the, these are the stories and the, and the direction I'm going in lyrically and vocally. And, um, they just seem to fit with what, you know, Ian had guitar wise and, and structure wise for the songs. And then we, we put them all together and, uh, yeah, we, we didn't pick a particular theme. We just, um, we just wanted to make it very true to ourselves and the songs themselves. They all, they all tell a story. Um, and they're all very personal to me from a lyrical basis because they're all very much, real things that have been a part of my life um, and very true. So we just wanted to make it very real, as real as possible um, to to where we've come from and what we've experienced. Did you find it difficult writing from that really personal nature or did you actually find that quite easy to write in that style? I've always found writing from a really personal perspective very cathartic. Um, That's that's just putting pen to paper. But when, I guess it it becomes a different story when um, when you put out put it out there, you know, more personal things to yourself. But with this, it just felt really natural. It felt right. Um, there was a couple of songs on, on the album, actually there's probably more than a couple, that were a bit of a, uh, I guess a bit of a mental hurdle for me to get over and go, you know, these work, these are real, they're raw, um, you know, they need to be out there and to tell the story. I mean, particularly Hangman, it's, it's very much inspired by um, very close uh, events to myself and, and my best friend that um, that took his life a long time ago. So that was that was a tough one to get out there and especially, you know, to sort of do that one live. But it's been well worth it because so many people have connected with it. Because they are so personal, are you guys kind of ready for people listening to this album and then getting in contact with the band and saying, hey, I've been through that kind of thing? Are you guys prepared for that? Absolutely. We're, yeah. we're prepared for that 24 hours a day. I mean... We're not the only ones, um, you know, that, that experience things in life that could be, you know, a uh, trying or difficult or whether it's anything from a, a tragedy to, you know, mental illness, any anything like that in life. You know, we're, we're definitely not saying that we're the worst or it's hardest for us. And we want people to know that, hey, we're all human and, and you're not alone. And I mean, I guess that's a big statement for us with this album. It's like, hey, we're, we're, all, we're all the same. We're all flesh and blood and, and we all have these things that go on in our lives that can hurt. So, yeah, we're there any time for anyone that wants to talk. Yeah, we, we also talked before about the heavier side of this album. It's it's become some of the heaviest stuff that you guys have done. Was that something that you became aware of when you first started to work on the music, that it was becoming heavier than what you'd done before? I, I think so. Um, with a lot of the guitar work that Ian had done on previous releases, there'd been sort of, I don't know, he, he sort of, was a little restricted within himself because of sort of other influences within the band and other things and he, he really found his spot with writing this this album like a lot of the music for it like the, the, the guitar work so he just came out of his shell and just wrote some of these incredible riffs and you know time changes and these these ideas and Gordo's the same he really stepped it up with his drumming and he went heavier he went faster he went still maintaining his 
his groove that he does because um, it's kind of a bit of an element of, of, um, of Kamora, but it just really flowed naturally with the way the songs were written. Um, lyrically, musically, it just seemed to, it, it just turned out heavier. Yeah. One of the things I've always loved about your band is there's always so many different influences that you can hear on each album because you guys come from backgrounds where you all liked different stuff. Do you think that's something that has really created a sound now that is unique to you guys? Hugely. I think it's been a, a massive uh, a massive contribution to, to our, our directive and our sound now. I mean, some of Ian's influences, guitar-wise, um, are not, not necessarily a lot of stuff that I listen to, like I know of, but not a lot of stuff that I sort of listen to. But And, you know, Gordo's the same with some of his influences. Kyle, our, our bass player, some of his influences, we're all very different. And we've kind of, I don't really know how, but we've managed to mesh together all of our influences. And we've turned out something that we feel is we've really found who we are and our sound. And, and that's I guess that's something that we're really proud of. Yeah. Was it difficult to put this album together as well because of what we've been going through the last couple of years? Like, I know WA has been a lot more open than what we have been over here on the East Coast, but did that kind of affect you guys getting together and putting the album together at all? Um, Not really, no. We sort of... I mean, we haven't had as many lockdowns or this COVID inconvenience bullshit that's destroying the arts and entertainment industry over there, but... We didn't cop it anywhere near as bad over here in WA. Um, so not really, no. Any of the lockdowns that we had or any of the restrictions that we had, whether it was, you know, we had a couple of shows get cancelled on us and because um, of lockdown and that. And we just used that time to write, um, yeah. whether it was in, individually or, you know, we'd have a group um, video chat and, um, you know, or Ian would send me something that he's written on guitar or I'd send a mix of some stuff that we've done. And so it actually worked really well for us, to be honest, in terms of the writing process. Awesome. Well, mate, you mentioned there about missing out on shows, and we know that a lot of bands are doing it tough at the moment. Missing out on shows means that that source of income's not there for them. Have you guys got any merchandise up that people can grab to to help you guys out at the moment? We've got a little bit of merchandise left from um, our last release that we did, but we've, we've got some new merchandise that's coming that's on the way. We should actually have it within the next well, a couple of weeks, I reckon. So we're going to have everything from... Uh, beanies, hats, hoodies, shirts, um, yeah, lots of <laughs> lots of different stuff. So we're just waiting on that to uh, to arrive because uh, COVID obviously holds everything up, unfortunately. Awesome. And if people are loving what they're hearing us play at the moment, um, where can they go to grab a copy of the album? Because I know there's a few people out there that have already asked us that on social media. Where can we grab a copy of the album? So where can they grab it? Yeah, so if they want to grab a, uh, a physical or digital copy, they can head over to our Bandcamp page. Um, they just jump over to our Facebook page. We've put all the links there for the Bandcamp. Um, for a physical copy, um, Big Cartel is going to have all of the um, the merchandise on it. Uh, and as for digital releases, it's a digital release on um, on Bandcamp. But it'll be out on all, uh, all streaming platforms um, when it's released on October 21st. Awesome. And what have you guys got planned now for the future as well? I mean, things are starting to open back up over here. They're saying that we're going to have shows and everything back probably by the end of November. Are you guys looking to get out there and do some shows first in WA and then maybe spread even further with the album out now? That's the idea. That's what we'd really like to like to do. So we've got our um, we've got our album launch uh, here in Perth on October 23rd at, um, at Linux Lounge in Northbridge. So after that, I mean, we when we recorded and we finished everything, we sort of sat down and we went, you know, the typical progression of an album release or any release really is that you go on tour. And we sort of thought, well, oh, shit, how are we going to do that? And um, so we've just kind of had a few things in the works in the background. So once we can see some more confirmation with uh, things opening up and shows playing over east, absolutely, we want to come over and we want to hit Brisbane, Melbourne, um, you know, Sydney, Newcastle. Um, we want to hit everywhere. Everywhere that's not Perth, we want to play. Awesome. Well, mate, what would you like to say to everybody out there before they go out and grab the album? We're about to play Hangman again on our show in just a moment. What would you like to say to everybody out there, not only before they listen to the track again, but before they go out and grab a copy of the album? Uh, everybody that's out there is about to listen to Hangman and grab a copy of our album. Thank you for the support. Um, it's all, all the songs are very personal. It means the world to us that everybody listens to it. And if you guys are really 
into it and you dig it. Um, that that's what it that's what it means to us to do music, and um, that's a huge box for us to tick that you guys like it. Hangman's very personal, and if any of you feel like it touches on anything that's a bit emotional, a bit much, a bit uh, heavy for you, please reach out to anyone around you. Reach out to us. Um, we're always here. We're all metalheads. We're all mates, and it's all music. Awesome.